guys, Mary Jo just coming to encourage you through scripture. And I just want to talk about something that just happened in the garage. I was working out and I'm sitting there doing sit-ups and I come up to take a break. And my, my puppy was in there, my dog. We call him a puppy even though he's grown. Which sometimes we treat our kids like that too. Like they're still kids, babies, but they're grown. Well, anyway, we he just came up and was really close to me. He was looking at me in the eye and we were both looking. And just like a sincere moment, even though it's, you know, it's just my dog. But still, it just felt special. And then all of a sudden, I guess he got an itch and started just licking or scratching his foot. It was like, really? Weren't we just having a good moment there and that and your foot's more important than me? And it just made me have this little um, idea of how God feels when he's he wants to spend time with us. Or we start reading the Bible and we get through like two verses and the phone rings or um, we get like th um, read three verses. And oh, yeah, the and the I got to put the clothes on. You go put a load of clothes on and then you go, oh, I got to start the dishwasher or, um, oh, I got to call this. I got to do this. I got to... It's always something. And, and God's sitting there just waiting and waiting. It made me think of the verse in Revelation. If you turn to Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, it says, Here I am. I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. He longs to spend time with us. And that's how we build that relationship when we read his word and we take the time to just sit and meditate on what he's telling us in his word and not just rush through it. And, and yes, your mind is going to think about everything else you have to do. I want you to just put a notebook by wherever you're at and just, if something comes to mind, write it down. But don't take away time from God. Like if you're going on a date and you only spent a couple minutes with that person, you won't really know them. You don't really get to enjoy their company. So I ask that you just take the time, sit and meditate on what you're reading. God bless.